<coughs> yeah, we're going to go over, <coughs> excuse me, a quick tutorial. So we're going to look for the wine list, which is here. And um, go over some of the features. And go to site. Okay, I'm deleting these so that we can preview. Okay, here we go. Now this is what happens when you just make a regular list um, and you have uh, the things going like this, one down, all the way down. Um, we want to add code to them. These are called short codes. So basically we're going to select the section where we want on the first half of the page right here. And we're going to call this one half. This is we only want, you know, page divided into halves, so we're going to select one half. And that's going to give us a code right here at the end and the beginning of the section that we selected. Then we're going to go on ahead and select the second section and we're going to uh, we're going to select one half last. And um, that's basically going to give us the same code to the last part of the page. So you could do that with uh, various uh, page widths. So like you could have a one fourth, and then you would basically select the first three rows, like I did, you know, highlight it, and then select one fourth, and then when you get to the last uh, row, you would basically select one fourth last. We're going to head and uh, preview those changes, and uh, basically you would do that in the HTML mode. So here's our list. Hold on, we have a, a space somewhere in there. Right here. These are spaces, by the way. All right, let's preview that again. And there's our list. Okay, everything is in order, and we're just gonna update that. Okay, we can go back to visual. So you have to go into the HTML mode to be able to edit these sections because this is where the short codes are kept. These are all called short codes and they basically uh, help you to code your page and to give it uh, some simple structures. Um, there are buttons and other various uh, things we could get into. Um, for instance, there is a, a learn more block, uh, there's a BP box. Um, that would be probably better to, yeah, in this case, go into post. I'm going to add a new post. And we're going to go in here, and uh, I guess we could start with um, caption goes here. Uh, this is a learn more co short code uh, open. So let's suppose, um, okay. We're going to say OK. And this is going to be open. So we're just going to preview this. Oh, I don't know why I keep wanting to change my colors. OK. So let's uh, do a quick preview. So entry. And here's. This is what it does basically. Um, it creates a box. So it says click, click more. And a cute little box in there. So uh, let's do that again. <coughs> That is again the um, learn more block. So you could you could add it to your page closed, or you could add it to your page open. Um, you click close. Basically, the person uh, has just to uh, click on it to see what is inside the box. So um, if we go here, we go to click more, then the content is in there. That's pretty simple. It's just a matter of inserting that in there. So if we um, I'll take that out. Uh, if we go here, our boxes. Um, these are different types of boxes. So this is this could be a download box. Uh, again, content would go here, um, and we would publish. These are box types. Uh, they're just different color boxes. So you know, it's whether it's green, red, blue, and um, red. And this is how that box would appear if you have a download. It has a nice little green box. 
basically does the same thing. It's just different color boxes. So there's shadow boxes are gray, uh, warning boxes are pink, info boxes are like blue, and they all have like a short little uh, a small icon that goes along with them. Um, now these are buttons. Um, this is uh, if you want to add a special button to you know an article or a post or something, you would add your link here. And then you select the kind of button you want. You want a pink, a big button, a small button, an icon. Um, when you, if you select an icon, there's different types of icon buttons. There's search buttons, refresh buttons, question, people, warning, uh, mail. So um, basically, if you okay, so you want to open this now. Okay. So we're just gonna say okay, add the button, so that I could show you what it looks like. I mean, you could basically take a post and play around with these, like I'm doing now. And uh, I just preview the the function because this is just in a preview mode. Um, so here we are in preview, and this is what it does. It just creates a little button like that. And these are all right here, different functions. Uh, this is called a slider. Uh, there's different types of sliders you can create. There's uh, tabs. You can create tabs on the top and the left side. Uh, simple slider and there's images so if you want a small slideshow like you have on uh, I believe it's the front page this would create a slider for you you would add the image width the height and say that it's a image slider you can add your effects this here you can have fading or slide um, if you want it to start automatically you could say yes and I don't know why that wants to change my colors uh, okay so basically once you're done setting up the um, uh, by the way, the uh, link to your photos would go here, so you would have to go into media. Uh, let me show you how to do that. You would click on media, and let's uh, say we have this photo right here. And um, if you want to insert a photo, you would basically get the URL for it. And uh, let's go back to editing the post. So I suppose uh, we want a slider yeah okay so let's say simple images we want it to slide um let me say images and the width is uh, 640 by 480 we want to add that in there so 640 480 and the content which is the url link would go here and then we're going to say OK. And if you want to add more, there's an Add More tab there. So you, after you do the first one, you would just click on the second one. And we're going to preview those changes. Again, this page has not been published. It won't affect anything. You can just clearly just keep hitting Preview Changes to see what things do. Well, this is obviously too large. You'd want to shrink that down. But this is how you would insert a, um, a slider. And you know, like I said, this is too large. So you just would go into the text, uh, into the box, and um, let's say 400. Uh, you might actually have to. Um, okay. Oops. Almost, almost hit update. <laughs> All right. So that's a that's a smaller slider. Okay, now it's fitting fine. And this would uh, have buttons here to show how many photos are in the slideshow. Uh, it's pretty simple add so if you have different pictures of food and stuff you want to add up uh, that would work just fine so I'm gonna go on ahead and uh, delete this uh, post because post it doesn't affect anything